But then still, you got that confidence in you, you wouldn't have figured that you would talk about it. Oh, I'm reading uh, Pierre Hoffman's Memories of Gascony. And why? Because I'm going to make some foie gras. Foie gras is duck liver. Sprinkle the armagnac onto the livers. Put them in a bain-marie for 45 minutes. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go and make some foie gras. Look at this. This is the good stuff. Going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. I'm gonna rub this stuff in there. So I put a little bit of whiskey in the bottom of this, a little bit of pepper in the whiskey here, at the bottom here. Put a little bit of salt. Now the salt part is the trickiest, but you really gotta go by feel. And I'm just going to take this fog off. This is raw, by the way. And just kind of squish it in there. So now I'll just fill her up with the old whiskey here. So it soaks in pretty good. Put in some more pepper. And now I'm going to show you how to make a bain marie. Marie is like a, a, a way of cooking very smoothly and softly because the heat is actually coming from the water. So I'm going to put this bowl inside a bowl of full water here. See the water? This is the bain marie. And as this heats up, it will cook this very slowly and very uniformly. It's a French technique. Put it on full blast. And... I put it once the water here, once the bain marie starts to boil, I turn it off and then I put it in the oven with the bain marie. So now the water's boiling and I turn it off. There it is. And it's starting to cook good. I put it in here. Now I put it in the oven and it's uh, 40 minutes for 1.5 kilos and I have. 0.5 kilos, so I'm going to put it in for um, 15 minutes. Okay, so it's 22, 20 to 10. Don't overcook it. Not only will the bain marie cook it very evenly, but because it's in an oven and the heat's coming from all around, it will cook it very evenly, even more and slowly for 15 minutes only. The trick is not to overcook like this. It's at 350 degrees. And I just leave it in there for 15 minutes. Yeah, baby. <clears throat> so, it's been in the oven there. Yeah, that bain marie has been working, it, working good. Oh. Look at that, that's amazing. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick little look, see inside the liver to see if it's, how, how it's cooked. Yeah, it looks perfect to me. Now, what you have to do is I cut out a piece of, uh, cardboard or plastic. I made an oval form the same size as this. And the reason why you do that is to compress the, the liver so that all the fat goes to the surface. And I just put it on top like this. Kind of everything goes to the top and squeezes out all the excess fat without burning my poor little musical fingers. Get some weight 
you have to put some weight on top of this. Any kind of weight will do. A rock. That's even better. Okay, nice. And I just put it here so that it kind of squeezes it good. So the cooking part is done. And now all you do is put it in the fridge for 12 hours minimum. Okay. There we go. With a rock on top. Good morning, everybody. So, and uh, I put it in the fridge, and it's been 12 hours. Now, what we're going to do is we want to keep the fat, but we also want to drain the extra juices because it'll just make the foie gras too brittle if it stays in a wet kind of juice. And here's our uh, rock. Fancy little press that I made out of the bottom of the date the dish. Here's some more fat here. So all of this fat I'm going to keep. Just slice a little bit off here. Mmm. Oh. Nasty. I gotta drain it. The seasoning of alcohol, whiskey, pepper. Let's take as much of this fat as possible. Turn on the light here. This stuff is um, all uh, melted now. And I just slowly pour it over so it kind of goes like this, yes. So the idea is that it's encased in its own fat. Oh, let's see how this uh, foie gras is looking. Looks perfect to me. Yeah, baby. <laughs> and it's off to getting destroyed at the party. <laughs> okay, bon, je vais on you can count on the French girls. Here we are. No problems. Ils sont bien là, 2 3 minutes. 1 2 